Hi, my name is Mani Ali Khani. I am Dean and Professor at Citro Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to another session of Citro Channel. Today, as part of the Back to the Clinic series, I'd like to discuss a very interesting case. A patient was referred to our clinic due to the pain and discomfort in the TMJ. The patient was referred by ENT uh, because the patient had pain in the ear. He first went to the ENT. The treatment was not able to decrease his pain and ENT decided that maybe he needs to consult the orthodontics. Upon the, uh, examining the patient intraorally, we noticed that the patient only occlude on the first and second molar and from second premolar to the second premolar, he has around five to six millimeter open bite. Both first and second molar demonstrated severe wear and also a bone recession that is very common on the patients that have open bite. In addition to this problem, patient had a constricted upper arch, constricted lower arch, crowding in the lower arch, and the midline in the lower arch that was shifted toward the right about four to five millimeters. When we're looking at the pan of this patient, we notice that the condyle demonstrates some remodeling. Now let's examine the self of this patient. You can see a mild to moderate class three relationship, procline upper anterior teeth and lower anterior teeth, an open bite that is present and rotated upper occlusal plane and lower occlusal plane. In the gonial angle, you can see increase in density of the bone that usually you will see that with the hyperactivity of the masseter. So how we can treat this patient? Traditionally, the treatment for the open bite cases was limited to the orthogenetic surgery. But later on, there is no difference in the stability between orthogenetic cases and orthodontic cases. And due to the cost and the risk involved with the orthogenetic surgery, the orthognathic surgery treatment nowadays is not popular among the patients. The second option was the camouflage treatment. And unfortunately, that was also was a very common treatment where the skeletal problems would not be addressed and the patients just compensated by pulling some teeth out and trying to uh, somehow camouflage a skeletal problem by dental movement. Unfortunately, this treatment usually not only do not provide a proper functional treatment, does not even provide proper cosmetic answer. Therefore, I don't really advocate a camouflage treatment. The third option was providing orthodontics and craniofacial orthopedics treatment in these patients. This patient cannot just have full braces upper and lower or aligners upper and lower. Those do not address uh, the problems of this type of patients. You need to have a customized mechanic with a very uh, deep understanding on mechanic and biological targets that you are trying to address, to stimulate. Therefore, some sort of a combination of orthodontics and orthopedic treatment is required in this patient. So let's see how we address the problem of this patient. Because the patient had a constrictor of upper arch, we started with the expansion of upper arch. Always remember, we address the orthopedic problem in the transverse direction first. The fact that the patient is adult does not prevent us from providing an orthopedic treatment. This concept that orthopedic treatment is only for the uh, children or teenager is not a correct concept and this patient can receive orthopedic treatment at any age that they want. While the patient had this treatment, we decided to provide posterior bite plate for many mechanical advantages, but one of the main concern was patient was suffering from the pain and we wanted to decrease the pain during the treatment and the posterior bite plate was able to actually make the patients to feel comfortable and quality of the life during the treatment was improved. While we're addressing the expansion, while we're addressing the TMJ problem, it reached a time that we needed to start to close the open bite. We have provided the sectional mechanics to apply one couple system to start to rotate the occlusal plane by extruding the anterior teeth. But at the same time, it is necessary to start to focus on intrusion of posterior segment in upper and in the lower. In the upper, we provided external plate 
most of the time in intrusion forces in open white cases need to apply from the palatal side and external plate would address that and in the lower we provided intrusion force to application of the buccal tads between the first molar and second molar the purpose of this was the rotation of occlusal plane so the both occlusal plane started to go parallel to each other and until the open bite is closed let's see what was the result of this treatment upon the finishing of the treatment we noticed that the patients achieved proper class 1 canine and molar relationship the midline has been addressed overjet and overbreath has been corrected and there is no open bite anymore uh, the most important thing is that the patient did not have any sign or symptom of the TMJ pain and discomfort. When we're looking at the um, panorex of this patient, we, all the roots are normal. There was not additional root resorption in the area. And when we are looking at the cephalometric x-ray of this patient, we notice that uh, actually the bite has been closed properly. The inclination of the upper and lower anterior teeth had been addressed properly. The occlusal plane has been flattened and the patient demonstrate a normal skeletal and dental relationship. What we learn from this case? First, the open bite cases can be addressed through orthodontics and craniofacial orthopedics. I'm emphasizing on craniofacial orthopedics part because it cannot be addressed with just putting full braces and try to uh, force the closure of open bite with the rubber band or even worse, just trying to do address that with the aligners. You need to have a proper treatment for this patient. You need to have a customized treatment for this patient. There is no two patients that should receive similar treatment. Second, as we discussed many times, TMJ, if it has an occlusion etiology, can be addressed correctly. Some TMJ problem may not, but those are a small percentage. The third part that I'm uh, emphasizing because this patient has been in retention for a while, that these patients are stable. This is common that the open bite cases are not as stable is not correct. Like any other treatment, uh, of course, there is a maintenance, there is a retention that these patients need to receive, but that's similar any medical or dental treatment that without proper maintenance, they will relapse. I hope you enjoyed this session of CTOR channel. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please go ahead, go ahead and subscribe. And please don't forget to press the like button. Thank you.